Hey guys, you guys have asked for it. The SV Boney 80 millimeter versus the Skywatcher Equinox. Let's get to it. Welcome back to the Joe Jaguar Show, your best friend in science, astronomy, and telescopes. Well, I hope one of them. Actually, I noticed a lot of you watch, and I make comments on a few other uh, channels and too. Maybe you guys have uh, seen me, so it's okay. Um, okay, so here we go. You guys have asked for it, and before I give this back, this SV Boney, we're going to do this over review, and then we're going to try to go outside and actually look through them. The only thing is at this time of year, Jupiter is practically gone. Maybe the only way I can get it done is if I go to the street, but it's just gonna be impossible to have my mount and tripod and my camera on a tripod and then two scopes, two mounts. Normally what I've seen other people do, they just have one mount, they put one scope, they view with it, you know, low, medium, high power, sometimes on the, like a laptop that's beside. Then they put the next scope and they do the same thing. But I don't like to do it that way. You guys deserve better. This is what I mean. I like when I compare two or three scopes, I like to have them each on a separate mount. So I'm, and I always beforehand, uh, like to see the matching powers as close as I can get within a couple powers. And then I like to look at low power. So I try to match like 30 power to 32 or something like that, very close. I look here, then I look there, then I look back, and then I can give you, you know, a view within a few seconds of what I see. I don't like if I do one and spend like half an hour on one doing all kinds of power and then I do put, you know, take it off the tripod, put the new one on the tripod, find the object and then go low, medium, high power again in my brain. That could be 30 minutes, 45 minutes away and there's no way I'm going to differentiate, you know, real time. Does that make sense? So I like to do low power and sometimes go back and forth three times, go to the medium power, and then go back and forth in, you know, each one, then the high power, and that way I'm seeing, you know, practically within two to three seconds, how it looks, and I can give a better review versus doing one at a time with one mount. So I can't go to the street with two mounts, two scopes, a camera, a tripod, and then all that, I don't think it's gonna be safe, and I don't want people seeing me uh, with all that equipment. So practically, Jupiter's gone. So the only way we can test these guys is maybe on the moon, like the first quarter moon, half moon, you know, whatever, three quarter moon, something, and maybe uh, on a star, um, you know, maybe something like that. Um, and that's about it. Hopefully that's good enough because I don't really have much of a choice. But anyway, let's compare these two, the nuts, and bolts of it and try the, the nitty gritty and give you an overview of what I think. Now, you guys see me do both. I mean, just to go over a few things. SV Boney is an 80 millimeter, 80 millimeter uh, Skywatcher Equinox. The Equinox is a, was a higher line brand to the Evo Star, okay? With all its features. Um, this is, a doublet with a 51 ED glass with a mating uh, lithanium, which is actually better than the old first generation one, um, at F7, okay? Now this one's also 80 millimeters, but this comes with the higher grade FPL 53, which most people, they hear that word and that's what they want, right? But a higher grade, but, it's at a focal ratio of F6.25. So, you know, every time something has changed, you'll never find something exactly. It's hard to judge or it's hard to predict the outcome 
because a 53 at seven and at an F7 is three quarters of a focal ratio more like than this one. So it gets it closer the longer it is. So it's gonna be interesting to see if a 51 glass at F7 is comparable or very close, let's see, to a 53 at F6.25. Now, if this one was at a F7 or if this was a, then you'd probably see the difference even slightly more. But this one, you know, being a little bit longer does have a slight extra chance now to compete. Uh, but I don't want, you know, I still would say this one might or should in theory, if we go by theory, should perform better because it's only three quarters of a focal length. It's not that much. If this one was like F8, then I would say it's probably gonna be almost equal. Both of them have sliding dew caps. This one isn't really working because it doesn't even hold it. I have to put an elastic band. But besides that, it works. This one is rotatable a different way than this is rotatable, but it still is. This one comes with a nice two inch Crayford focuser. And I believe it's the long purring, which makes good focusers, okay? This one would be, I would say this focuser has a slight edge as far as quality over this one. But this is not a cheapy, cheapy one, as I discussed in previous uh, videos. It is rotatable, it's notched, it is fairly good and smooth. It's uh, I like the rack, it has lots of focus. So both of these are good focusers for these telescopes. I do give this one a slight edge. This one might be a half a point up. And that's really it. Everything else is very similar. Both are around the same weight. What this has the plus on is that it has separate rings and the bar where this one's kind of built in. So that has the benefit or the plus on that. Uh, besides that guys, there's two good telescopes for the price point type of thing. You cannot find this one new anymore. You might be able to find this one uh, used. This one even used might even, is gonna be more expensive than this one new. It's probably almost getting close to the four inch version of this one, brand new. So they're still not too, too cheap, especially if it comes with the case and the two eyepieces and the diagonal. It's not so cheap, right? So it's still gonna cost a little bit. Both of them have excellent glass, excellent coatings, baffled uh, a bit, you know. So both of these are two great scopes for two different things. And it would be nice to see which one performs. Does this get close to that? Are they virtually the same? Is there a little bit of difference? Or is there a lot of bit of difference? Seeing them one at a time, there's no way to know on different days how close they are till you go side by side at the same power, same object and same night. Then you can kind of say, oh, okay, it's 5% difference, it's 10% difference, it's 20% difference, you know, that type of thing. So we're gonna do that in the next video. Uh, I gotta see if it's clear on the quarter moon or something like that, and um, we'll take a look at it. Anyway, guys, that's it. Quick little video. We're gonna compare these guys. Why not you? Why not me?